Hi, this is another video visit from the American Folk Art Museum. My name is Elizabeth Gronke, and I work as an access educator with the Folk Art Reflections program. And today I'm going to bring three paintings to show you made by three different artists. And I chose these painters and these paintings because they celebrated my favorite city in the world, New York City. And I must be missing that city so much and missing being out and about among the people because these paintings are big and busy and full of people. And I think it's my way of, of connecting to that social side of myself that misses being out there. I hope it will do that for you too. Now we're gonna look at these paintings. We're gonna figure out where they're located and who's inside the paintings. There's lots of figures. We're gonna look around and see what we can find in the details because there is a lot to look at in these paintings. And I want you to think about if you have a favorite place in New York City. Before we start looking at the paintings, I'd like you to think about that. Do you have a favorite, favorite place to be? I know I have several and I can think of one right now. Grand Central Terminal, love it. What about you? What's your favorite place in New York City? Can you picture it in your mind? I wish you could tell me what your favorite place is. Now let's dive into our first painting. Now I bet this was somebody's favorite place. What's going on in this painting? Do you see who's in the painting and what they're doing? Take a look. It's a dance floor and there's a band playing in the back. What else is going on in this picture? It's fun to see all the movement and color. I'll tell you the name of the painting. It's called Roseland and it's by the New York artist Malka Zeldis and it was painted in 1977. Malka Zeldis is 88 years old now, and by all accounts, she's as fun and colorful as her paintings are. Have you ever been to Roseland Ballroom? It was a popular live music and dancing venue from the 1920s all the way through the decades. In the 30s and 40s, many of the big name band bands, the big bands played and recorded live broadcasts on the radio. I've met people who have been to Roseland and they talk about how much fun it was to go dancing there. And this painting helps me imagine what it must have been like. So let's play a game. I'm looking at one person in the painting and let's see if you can spot them. Okay, ready? I'm looking at a person who's wearing a yellow top and red pants. She has brown hair. She's got her arms in the air and she's dancing right near the stage. Do you see her? If you want to, you can pause the video and point out to each other which person you think I'm looking at. And now I'm gonna zoom in so you can see her. There she is, yellow shirt, red pants. I can't help but wonder if the artist ever painted herself into her paintings. And if she's in that painting, I wonder which one is she? I read an interesting article that was pretty recent about Malka Zeldis. And she talked about how now that she's gotten older, it's a little hard to paint sometimes. So often getting dressed in the morning to go out is one of her best creative outlets. And the article had many images, many photos of her dressed colorfully and beautifully in every single one. And it made me even wonder, have I seen her before? I feel like I might have seen her on the streets before. And to me, that's one of the great things about living in New York City is that you walk out the door and you get to see an original like Malka Zeldis. 
Now our next artist that we're going to look at was painting a few decades before her, but he must have loved the streets of New York as much as she does. Check out this street scene. This painting is by an artist named Vesti Davis, and it was painted in 1958. And the title of the painting, not surprisingly, is Nathan's Famous. Do you know where to find a Nathan's Famous hot dog? I'll give you a hint. It's right by the beach and it's in Brooklyn. And if you guessed Coney Island, you would be right. It really looks like Coney Island, doesn't it? Now let's look at some of the details in this painting. Check out all the activity that the artist put into it. What do you see? I see people eating, people walking. I see children. I even see some animals. In fact, right now, I'm looking at a dog. It's a brown dog, and there are several people looking at it. What is that dog doing? I'm going to zoom in now so you can spot the dog that I'm thinking about. What is it up to? It looks like it has collected some garbage and is maybe scrounging some hot dogs out of a bag. Do you see it? The people around it are noticing too. Now let's look at the whole painting again. Now when I look at this painting and if I really get into it and start looking at the details, I can almost smell the hot dogs and the ketchup. I can practically hear the crowds and feel the heat of the summer air in Coney Island. It's a pretty evocative painting for me. How about for you? Do you have memories of going to Coney Island? And does this painting bring you back to it a little bit? Now what's interesting about Vesti Davis to me is that he didn't start painting until he was in his 40s. But what's great is that by the time he passed away in the late 70s, he had become a celebrated and successful self-taught artist. Most of his subjects were New York City landmarks and he filled his paintings with people. But the critical thing I think is that before he started painting, he had worked a wide variety of jobs. He says from circus barker to undertaker to newsstand operator. And he must have gotten to know the city really well. The American Folk Art Museum has a great collection of Vesti Davis's paintings. And later on in this video, I'm going to show you how you can go to the museum's website and look at the collection and you can search for his work. And maybe you'll see a painting of one of your favorite places. He's done so many places around the city, including City Hall and Bethesda Fountain in Central Park, lots and lots of paintings of Coney Island, the beach and the boardwalk. I really encourage you to look. Now, the next artist that I'm going to share with you is an artist that was well known for his appreciation of the hardworking New Yorker. And that is Ralph Fasanella. This painting is called Subway Riders by Ralph Fasanella, and it was painted in 1950. Now take a few moments just to look at it and take in the colors Take in the figures on the train. Who's on this train? And is this a familiar scene for you? Now, the artist himself was a hardworking New Yorker. He had a variety of blue collar jobs and he was even a union organizer at one point. And he considered his art making an important type of social activism. I'm going to read aloud a quote from the artist about this painting. He said, I'd ride the subway every day, 
back and forth to my machine shop job. I'd ride and ride and sketch and sketch. I love the subway. It pulls the city together, pulls people together in a magic way. Here, I show the subway riders at night after a hard day's work. Everyone is separate, alone, but very much together. It's noisy with the creaks and squeals, but peaceful too, because we move to a rhythm and a cadence that gets inside us, that's comforting, like the noise of the city itself. The subway makes the city work, makes the city great. That's what he said about this painting. And it really sums up what I love about this painting. There have been so many times that I have ridden in the subway, quietly with strangers, knowing that any one of those people have amazing stories to tell about their lives. Sometimes I like to look at them and try to figure out clues about them. So let's do that with this painting. Looking at the figures in this painting, whose story are you the most curious about? Are you curious about the man wearing gray in the middle who seems to be sleeping? What about the lady next to him with the pink blanket? Do you think she's holding a baby? What about the gentleman on the left with the blue suit and the matching hat? He probably has an interesting story to tell. Take a moment right now to pause the video and tell someone that you're with which of these people is interesting to you and maybe try to make up a story about them. All three of these artists helped me feel the thrill of New York City in different ways. Let's take a look at the paintings again. Malka Zeldis's painting of Roseland summons up the fun of getting dressed up and going out on the town to enjoy music and maybe romance. Vesti Davis's depiction of Coney Island takes me right into the noisy, crowded fun of the beach and hot dogs. And Ralph Fascinella's group portrait of these subway riders is so very familiar and heartwarming. It reminds me of all the times I felt connected and part of the vitality of this big city. Which of these three paintings resonates the most for you? Maybe you would like to print out an image of that painting and continue the conversation where you are with some people. So, I'm going to show you right now how you can go to the museum's website and look up an artist and look up their paintings and print them out. First, go to the museum's webpage. Then look for the word collection, click on it. In the right corner, you'll see a box that says search the collection. You can type in one of the names of one of the artists we looked at today, like Malka Zeldis. Click that little icon to search. And here you'll see paintings by Malka Zeldis. And we want to look at Roseland again, so I'll click on Roseland. It gives me information about the painting. And I click on it again, and I have a nice big image of it. If I right click on that, I can save the image as a JPEG, which means that I can print it from home. If you do print out one of those paintings, I hope that you'll continue to look for the amazing little details that the artist put in them. And maybe you'll share with somebody some memories you have of those places. Maybe you'll even feel inspired to paint your own painting of a favorite New York City spot. That would be great. If you do, please share it with us. Ralph Facinella has been quoted in this video, and he, I read a very short quote of his that, that warmed my heart. He said, people need each other. And I agree. And I hope that this video gave you your New York City fix like it did for me. 
and I will see you at the next video visit. Thank you for joining me.